In this short video series, I'm gonna help you guys set up an installation of Discourse so that you can have Discourse on the internet. Now, Discourse is the best forum software that's available, free or paid. And that's not an opinion, it's a damn fact. Unless, of course, you like some of the old school stuff that doesn't have all the cool dynamic newness. In which case, sure, go ahead, install something, and leave a nasty comment. I know you guys will anyway. But if you want to set up the coolest forum software, we'll show you how to get that going. This version requires some sort of hosting that has Ubuntu. You need access to that. You need Docker. Um, and you need to be able to jump into the command line and do a few things. I only want a forum. I don't know anything about all this stuff. It's too much. I'm just going to install something else that just requires a SQL database. Hold on. Don't be intimidated. There's a lot of different steps, but they're easy steps. And you just have to go through them one at a time, like we're going to do in this video. We're going to be using DigitalOcean for this. And uh, we have some of our stuff on DigitalOcean. So go ahead and click on the uh, link in the description. That'll get you guys going with uh, DigitalOcean but it'll also give us some credit towards our server on DigitalOcean. So it's a nice little thing. Thank you very much for that. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, this is an optional step, but it is the first step that I always take when making a new website. I like to add my domain to Cloudflare and that's going to uh, speed up the website. It's a better DNS server than most. And it's also going to give us some protection against DDoS attacks. So let's just go ahead and add our website, PowerCrotch. Just do what the wizard tells you and you'll be all right. So it looks up your DNS records. Just get the basic, you're fine with that. Uh, a lot of even really large websites will use the basic. So while you're going through the wizard, it's going to ask you to update your name servers. Now you're going to want to do this with your hosting provider. So wherever you bought your domain, just go there and update your DNS settings. I made it really easy. You can just click copy and then go back and do that. So hit continue. It's like, oh, it's not ready yet. So you're going to have to wait until this is all set up before we can really move forward. All right, so the easiest way to set up Discourse is to use DigitalOcean. There's actually a one-click installation. Otherwise, you'll need to install Ubuntu on a server uh, and then set it all up manually with Docker and everything. That's easy if you're a Linux person. If you're not someone who really likes to mess around with the terminal and you want it to be a little easier, uh, DigitalOcean is probably the cheapest and the easiest to get everything set up. So what you want to do is you want to grab one of their droplets. So get signed up for an account. Now there's all these droplets here with these different distros, depending on what you want to do. And there are plenty of one-click apps here that you can install. There you see Discourse right there. So after you get signed up for the account, you could just do the Discourse one-click app. And once you've got your accounts over here, here's what it's going to look like. You pick your one-click app. There's Discourse. I would not recommend using one gigabyte option. You're gonna need, I'd say around two gigs, three gig if you're gonna have a larger website. And as your website grows, you can just come and upgrade. Uh, you can always move up with the droplet, but you can never move down. So I would start here at the $10 a month mark and then move up as you need it. If you need a little more CPU power, you can come over here. Uh, but for just a basic installation of Discourse, you're gonna want to focus on having enough RAM to make this work correctly. You can enable backups if you like. Uh, Discourse also has some internal backup mechanisms, which I'm gonna use instead, but it's up to you. If you want some extra storage on your server, you can do that. Then pick the one that's closest to you or the one where most of your uh, you know, people are gonna be. All this down here is optional. There we go. Just so I have a name for my droplet, I'll remember what it is. And it's Discourse, gonna go ahead and hit create. And now it's just going to spin up our Ubuntu installation and get our Discourse ready to go. Over here on Cloudflare, our name servers are now active. And we're gonna come over here and just point all this to our IP address. Now, if you're gonna be using your main domain as just like a blog or a, a store or something like that, and you wanna do a, a subdomain, well, you can easily do that by coming up here and just adding an A name of forum or whatever you want. This is gonna be a uh, subdomain. So what I've done right now is I've made it so that forum.powercrotch.com points to this. So that's only if you want to do it using a subdomain. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. So Discourse is ready to go. And you can just bring up your console by clicking right over here on DigitalOcean. And it brings up your console. Connects, hey, we've got to do our Discourse login. So where do we get all this information? Well, it's going to be root. And then the password, as soon as you finish making your droplet, the password was emailed to you. Open up your DigitalOcean email, it's gonna be a really long password to type in. So just go ahead and type all that in and you'll be able to change this right after that. All right, now you're prompted to enter a new password. So this can be anything you like. 
Uh, make sure it's secure though. And now we are running our discourse installation right here in Ubuntu. All right, you're gonna need an admin email account. This can be any email that you want, but it's gonna be associated with your discourse. And now you're gonna enter the domain or the subdomain. If you guys set it up as forum.whatever.com, put that in. If not, I'm just gonna put powercrush.com. Every time someone joins, it needs to send them a verification email. You're gonna need an SMTP server. I recommend using Mailgun, uh, just if you're gonna be sending a lot of mail. Get an account over at Mailgun and then add a new domain. All right, now I'm creating a domain name here that I'll need to add to my Cloudflare account. Here's the fun part. All this stuff here has to be added to Cloudflare. It's really easy to do, but there is a lot of stuff here to do. Just, you just gotta do it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna side by side these two. Let's add text. All right, one down, add record, mailgun. All right, next up, we need another text record. With all this stuff here, oh, look at all that. Add record, there we go. All right, now we need some MX records set up here. Those are your typical mail records. Priority 10, there we go. And we'll need to make this just mailgun because it's gonna be mailgun.powercrotch.com. Add record, there we go. Another MX for mailgun. And last up, we'll need a C name for email.mailgun. Dot powercrotch.com. So we're making a C name, mailgun.powercrotch.com, over to mailgun.org, add record. All right, there we go, everything's added. There we go, C name's not working yet, give it a second. Let's try going straight and see what happens. That fixed it. Not gonna do DNS and proxy, just DNS. All right, so there's everything's up and running. And here are our settings that we're going to be using in our terminal. So let's bring our terminal back over here. We're in the middle of our installation. Now you can use this giant default password if you like. Now we're gonna set this up, smtp.mailgun.org. Default port is going to be 587. Username right here, postmaster at mailgun.powercrotch.com. Password, fatburger. There we go. Now it's going to start installing stuff. A little bit later, it'll ask you for your email address. I usually like to use the same one here. Keep an eye on it. It'll ask for some stuff here in a minute, but it's mostly just getting Docker up and running and installing Discourse. This will be the email and password that you use to log into your Discourse forum. And you absolutely want to grant admin privileges to this account so that when you log in with your main account, you can do anything you want. That's it, we have configured Discourse. We should be able to go to powercrotch.com and see Discourse. Let's see what happens. All right, so here we are, logged in, you got all your stuff going on. The first thing I usually like to do is go through the setup wizard. You guys can do that on your own. It's just basic and self-explanatory. Just because I always go dark, we'll do something a little different. You can upload your, your logos. We're going with Krimith all the way. This is usually better if you use PNG with a transparent background, but it's up to you what you wanna use. And we can invite some staff right now. Go ahead and start adding your staff, but We'll do that later. It's like, you, sure you, don't want, you don't have any friends? You don't have any staff? Yeah, sure, whatever. There we go, it's ready, done. And go back to the main page. And now we've got this nice gray theme going on. You guys can come and edit this to your heart's content. One of the things that's nice about this is when you go to the admin panel, you can do upgrades right from here. Uh, Docker, checking for new versions. Ooh, there's a new version of Docker Manager. I'm gonna update that just by clicking the button and hitting Start Upgrade. And after this, I'm gonna show you how to get uh, SSL running so that you can have HTTPS all the time on your website. You got other users on here, you definitely want HTTPS. So that's it, you've got a basic version of Discourse up and running. You guys can start clicking around and messing with things and going onto their forum, or you can watch the next video. We'll get SSL set up, we'll, we'll check out some themes, um, and just let us know what you want in the comments and we can throw those into future videos and help you get the best version of Discourse ready. Let us know what you're making with Discourse. Put a link to that in the comments and get yourself a t-shirt. This is one of our best t-shirts designed by Mr. Creep. It's at epicpants.com. While you're there, you can grab yourself a mouse, mouse pad, desk mat, we don't have any earmuffs.